point of view you have um, a celebrity look like, or maybe more than one, and I'm going to let you decide depending on you know, what you like. So if you like your cartoons after Christmas, <laughs> if you like, um, what was next, Phil? You've seen me before and I've forgotten. How did that happen? <laughs> Ah, yes, boy, it was. Thanks, Joe. Thanks. See, that's why I got the bus here to help me out. <laughs> if you like your football, Gareth Southgate. <laughs> yeah. If you're like my wife, the butler in the buff she saw at a Hindu last year. <laughs> From the neck up. <laughs> neck down. He was much uh, smaller. Anyway, <laughs> but the one that gets a little bit more attention these days, we've got a new king in town, right? Good King Charlie. Yeah. So I've got the ears, like the king. I've got the nose, just like the king. I've got a hairline, a little bit like his eldest son, or only son, depending on what he is. <laughs> if you're still not convinced though, let me help you out a little bit here. Stamp. <laughs> Coin. <laughs> so, now that I remember the lines, that's enough about my look. A little bit about my name. So, Philip. Let's go back to the Greek story we've had a little bit already today. In Greek, Philip means a lover of horses. Not sexually, but it does. In Arabic, apparently, and I'm not sure, I'm not strong in Arabic, it means elephant. Which could explain the ears. One more time. In English, family disappointment. Which is true, because I made the life choice a few years ago to move to Slough. <laughs> Always gets a laugh because it's loud. It's a little bit like saying you drive a Skoda. It's not as bad as it used to be. <laughs> it's always going to be considered a bit shit. <laughs> so I started trying to find ways to move out of Slough now. And I've started looking at towns. And you know, there are some towns that are twins with other places. Town twins or sister cities, apparently. So if you go to Birmingham, Apparently, it's twinned with Milan. <laughs> I'm not sure from what angle. <laughs> Glasgow, twinned with Cuba. <laughs> Probably the sunshine, right? <laughs> but there's one just down the road from me, which I'm thinking is probably a bit easier going all the way to Glasgow. Denham, which is twinned with Denham. <laughs> Denham Shark Bay in Australia. And I'm thinking there's only one way that Denham must have got its name. And I'm thinking Steven Spielberg, back in the 70s, took a trip. <laughs> Denham. Denham. <laughs> Denham, 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 Denham. <laughs> okay, but some other places I have visited, and I'm not gonna live there. My wife and I like to go on holiday quite often. And we went to Spain for a, a wedding just a couple of months ago. And this happened, and um, I'm not sure if we're going to remain married for long, but she woke up from a little afternoon siesta. She got one of the big double XL bags of crisps. She munched her way through the entire bag, offering me not to one crisp. And then she turned around and went, that was the best 15 minutes of my life. <laughs> so I'm not really sure what I'm doing wrong. But I've got to be with crisps. <laughs> Tough times. Anyway, anyway. So, the good thing though about being married, apart from my wonderful, beautiful wife, is the friend circle of ours. For me at least, my friend circle's got a little bit bigger. And we've started buying our friends what they ask for for Christmas. Not what we think they like, not something they're like really interested in, mentioned it once, what they actually ask for. One friend of ours, an electric toothbrush. <laughs> Why? That's what she wanted, so okay, that's what she got. She has not quite figured out how to put the head on this electric toothbrush. Stumped by it. But she's been using it for a couple of months now and has not stopped smiling. <laughs> <laughs> right, one last one. One last one. Back to the trips around Europe. So we went to Amsterdam. Anyone been? Yeah. yeah. Any of you been to the Condomaria? Not a single hand. There's normally at least one person says yes. So the Condom Maria is a small shop that sells nothing but condoms. Obviously by the name, right? Different shapes, different sizes, different flavours. 
They have siesta flavour. <laughs> siesta crisp flavour in double XL, of course. But the one that was uh, most interesting, a vegan condom. Mm, vegan condom. So I'm going to leave you with this question. Ladies and gentlemen, can a vegan condom ever be 100% meat free? <laughs> <laughs> I've been Philip Reese, you've been amazing. Thank you very much.